Hi guys, it's Chris here for Coach's Corner. I hope you're still well and safe. This week's been a bit better, hasn't it? Football is back. The Premier League has officially restarted. I don't know about you though. It's, it's great, it's so exciting, but it's not the same. I, we can't be in the stadium. We can't have fans in the stadium. They're not allowed in. If only we could go in and see the game. Have a think now, if you could see one more game this season inside a stadium, what game would you choose? I think for many Liverpool fans, they would choose the game they're going to win the league title. That would be incredible to see that, wouldn't it? Imagine if I had a friend and I, my friend worked at the gate at Anfield. And I said, if you go through him, he will let you go in and see that game. How amazing would it be to see your team win that game and then lift the Premier League trophy? At the moment, we're going through a series of seven of Jesus' I am statements. First week, we heard him say, I am the bread of life. Last week we heard him say, I am the light of the world. Now this week, Jesus claims, he says, I am the gate. Whoever goes through me will be saved. Whoever goes through me will be saved. What a great claim. At this moment of time, during this pandemic, we have seen something major we need saving from. And that is death. Sadly, so many people have been passed, passed away. And we need saving from death. Jesus wouldn't just let you into a game to see a game. He claims he can save you from even death. But how do we know this is true? Of course, my friend working at Anfield, he's not true. He's made up. Jose Mourinho, he claims to be the special one. Yeah, his team, Tottenham, are eighth in the Premier League. They're behind teams like Wolves and Sheffield United. He's no special one. How do we know Jesus' claims are true? Well, if we go later on in the Gospel, of John or even other Gospels, we can see that Jesus died. But then he, that didn't stop there. He rose again from the grave. He defeated death. He proved that he had power over death. And if you've got power over death, that means you'll be able to save people from the dead. So surely, guys, surely, we go through Jesus to be saved. Surely we put our hope in him so that we can be saved from some stuff as bad as death. Let me pray that we all share this hope in Jesus. Heavenly Father, uh, we praise you that we can go through you to be saved. We don't need to fear uh, stuff like death. We can rely on you that you will one day, uh, that you will save us if we put our trust, um, hope and trust in you. In your name we pray. Amen.